At first glance, you may think all these chapter rewards are cosmetic only, but that's not the case. This time around, DICE have decided to include new weapons. Three in fact, one primary and two secondary weapons. The first one is the Jungle Carbine and you can unlock it by working your way up to level 10. The next one is the Type 99 Pistol and that can be unlocked by reaching tier 23. And the last one is the Model 27 Revolver which is unlocked when you reach tier 30. The great thing about this is you can just play at your own pace however you like without being restricted to a certain playstyle, map, mode or assignment and eventually they'll all end up in your armory. However, there are a few issues and unknowns here. My personal issue is that chapter progression isn't saved across any of the platforms, meaning I had to start from scratch to get the Jungle Carbine on PC and still don't have it on PS4. And the unknown is how long before they are released. Some players may not have the time to grind them and some, like myself, would prefer not to grind the chapter twice for the same reward. I don't mind missing out on cosmetic items but weapons are a lot more valuable. Overall I like the idea of adding more weapons to the game through chapter rewards but with a bit more clarity and perhaps with cross platform progression less players will miss out and we can all start using and enjoying them. Anyways let's move on to the jungle carbine. It's the third bolt action carbine to be added to the game and as per usual it's given to the medic class. It's got a large 10 round stripper clip magazine and fires 83 rounds per minute. The ammo capacity can't be upgraded but you can increase the rate of fire through the spec tree and that bumps you up to 97 rounds per minute. In my opinion it's a must have specialization if you want to compete with other carbines and even snipers but more on that in a moment. This is what the specialization tree looks like and the specs I chose are quick aim, swings and swivels to be able to switch to my sidearm as fast as possible and improved hip fire to give me a fighting chance in extreme close quarters. If you're an Ironsight user or use the 2 times scope then you could go for faster bullets instead which bumps the velocity up to 570 meters per second which is faster than the Lee Enfield. The opposite route isn't too bad either but I just prefer to have one consistent movement speed across all weapons. Moving on to the stats, the jungle carbine inflicts a maximum damage of 56 and that gradually drops off to 55.6 from 75 meters, 50 from 100 meters and then a minimum of 42 from 120 meters onwards. That translates to two body shots up to 100 meters and a maximum of three from there onwards. But if you aim for the head, then the 1.8x headshot multiplier grants you the power to take out an opponent as far as 75 meters away with a single headshot. And that's really impressive for a carbine and the minimal damage drop off over distance is what allows it to be so potent. To put it simple, it's basically a long range carbine and that's clear to tell when you compare it to the others. In comparison, the Commando carbine's one hit kill range is limited to 30 meters, so that's a 40 meter difference, and the Trompon Sino is only capable of doing so up to 50 meters, resulting in a 25 meter difference. We could compare the reach difference for body shots, but you get the point. Out of the three, the Jungle Carbine has the best range, but that comes at the cost of rate of fire, giving the other two carbines a slim TTK advantage inside of 50 meters, as both carbines can follow up with another shot a little bit faster. However, there's only a 10 RPM difference between the three carbines, and if you take bullet velocity into account, the marginal TTK gap doesn't make a huge difference, and only narrows down the nearer you get to 50 meters. When compared to the most aggressive sniper, the Lee Enfield, the Jungle Carbine is far better but only up to 75 meters simply because it fires 12 rounds per minute faster, while requiring the same amount of bullets to kill with identical bullet speed and reload speed. To be more specific, if both weapons faced off 1v1 body shots only, the Jungle Carbine would outperform the Enfield up to 100 meters even the Enfield with only a headshot advantage past 75 meters and a body shot advantage past 100 meters, which may sound great at first until you notice that's long range and there are better snipers available for such a role, leaving us with little to no reason to pick the Lee Enfield, but I wouldn't go as far as saying it's completely useless. 
So in conclusion, the Jungle Carbine is the best bolt action carbine in Battlefield 5, mainly due to its large magazine, extremely low damage drop off over range, and it's got great hip fire with above average bullet velocity. Combine that with the perks of being a medic, giving you access to smoke grenades and unlimited health regen, you simply get the perfect aggressive sniper loadout. On top of that, there aren't many downsides, if any, Think of it as a faster firing SMLE with nearly all the benefits, not to mention there's no scope glint even when using a 3x scope. So far I'm a huge fan of the jungle carbine and I've never had so much fun sniping in Battlefield 5 before. But what do you guys think? Will this latest edition make you do most of your sniping in the meta class or are you just going to stick to the recon class? Do let me know in the comments down below and as always leave a rating and I'll see you later. Take care.